and I rise to ask for a no vote for this, this bill. And the intentions of what, what is trying to be accomplished uh, are good. However, last year I put in a bill, House Bill 1871, that tried to bring local input, part, partly equity of, of local control, not necessarily control, but, but negotiations to equity with, with local governments. And the bill did not make it out of committee, but both sides of the aisle worked together to get my language in to the governor's bill, House Bill 1812. Negotiated, passed both houses, went to the governor's desk, and he vetoed out my language. We're fortunate in this bill to get a little bit of, a little bit of language in this. Can I just read a, a small portion pertaining to this bill? Please proceed. Okay, thank you. In section 310, it says it is important because it says a joint legislative committee of lawmakers from the Senate and the House and both sides of the aisle will come to the Tri-Cities to hear from local citizens directly about how they feel about intensive land use impacts of this industrial development and what would make for a better outcomes from the clean energy transmission. Transition, excuse me. This is great, but there will be a meeting on the east side and the west side. This has to do with mostly eastern Washington and our local communities. Eastern Washington is taking the brunt of all these huge wind farms, solar farms, and everything else, which is fine, but it's a very, very small amount of restitution that comes back to them without local negotiations, just input from the citizens. This again is what we heard yesterday from the gentlelady in the seventh. This becomes hypocrisy because the rural, the rural counties, the rural people are taking and, and feeling the effect of this. I ask for a, a no vote and hopefully we can get things negotiated to where we can get more local negotiations and control. Thank you.